we're going to look at registering the domain name. And I'm going to do this through Namecheap. Now, when you get hosting, you can actually get the domain name at the same time as purchasing the hosting account. Now, hosting companies do often charge you more for domain registration. So you can actually save a little bit of money by doing it this way. Unless, of course, they offer you a free domain name when taking out their hosting. But there is another reason why I like to keep the domain name and the hosting separate. And that's basically, if I was to ever change the host, this might cause problems transferring the domain name. So having them completely separate just gives me a lot more control. So I definitely recommend doing it. Now, it does add a little bit of an extra step later on when it comes to setting up the website, but I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in a future lesson, and it's not that complicated. So I'm gonna put the domain name in that I want to register in here, and then we just hit the search button to make sure that it's still available, which in this case it is. We're then gonna add it to cart and then view cart. We then need to go through the checkout process. And you can basically set how long you want to register the domain name for. The minimum is one year. After that, you can then set the domain name to auto renew or not. And this is something that I would fully recommend doing. I've nearly lost a few websites in the past because I just didn't remember to renew the domain. So setting it to auto renew will stop that from happening. Now you will be notified when it's coming to the end of the registration period, but I would definitely recommend just setting it to auto renew. You can then add additional options such as hosting, email, and an SSL certificate to the domain registration. These can all be ignored as we'll be getting all of these through SiteGround. When you're happy and you want to continue, click the confirm order button. Now, if you have an account with them, simply log in. If not, just create an account. It's really easy and just takes a couple of minutes. Once you've logged into your account, you'll get onto the order page, which will show you your order details and payment information. Check through this. If you're happy, click pay now. And there you go. We have a domain name purchased and registered. It's simple. This confirmation page would include your domain name, how long you've registered it for, and in this case, one year, and then how much it costs.